Do you want to be a time traveler or want to experience another universe in which you may find a different solar system type structure? Just spend some time in an area with high gravity. You can't go back in time, but you can travel to the future if you get close enough to a black hole. Hey viewers, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Interested in space? In love with space mysteries? So today's video is only for you all space lovers. Today, we'll discuss how to escape a black hole. Are you excited, guys? So without any delay, let's dive into the video. But before that, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to get every single update about the channel. Recently, Stephen Hawking advises people not to freak out if they ever find themselves trapped inside a black hole. While it is possible that they will perish in such a situation, it is also possible that no trace of their existence will ever be found again. According to the most recent findings in scientific research, the gravity of a black hole is so intense that nothing, not even light, can ever leave once it has been penetrated. They are voids in space that possess a terrible and incomprehensible power, and just in our own galaxy, there are approximately 100 million of them, the largest of which is located at the center and is billions of times larger than the sun. Fun stuff! But there is still a chance that things could turn out better. People pay attention to Stephen Hawking's theories because he is the most well-known physicist in the world. He recently proposed a new theory regarding black holes. Because of Stephen Hawking, a significant portion of what we already know about black holes was made possible. In fact, there are even ideas that are named after him. Therefore, it is not a meaningless occurrence whenever he comes up with a new idea. Nothing that enters a black hole can ever be pulled back out again, at least not in the same state it was in when it entered. On the other hand, a black hole can occasionally shed some of its mass. According to quantum theory, virtual pairs of particles can suddenly appear out of nowhere, emerging from the very fabric of space itself. These particles quickly neutralize one another and disappear as a result. However, if two particles appear at the same time just beyond the horizon of a black hole, one of them may be swallowed up by the event horizon and never be seen again. It is impossible for the particles to cancel each other out if the one that is on the outside does not fall through the horizon. Simply put, this borrows some of the mass that is contained within a black hole. The loss of mass could become significant enough after an uncountable number of billions of billions of billions of years to cause the black hole to evaporate completely. The material would be released, but not in its original state. Instead, only energy and subatomic particles would emerge. In honor of Stephen Hawking, the physicist who first described this type of energy is now commonly referred to as Hawking radiation. During a lecture this week at the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Sweden, Stephen Hawking presented a new theory that explains how our existence could possibly escape a black hole. This theory was described by Stephen Hawking. When something is sucked into a black hole, it is not lost to the universe forever as one might expect, according to this theory, which builds on ideas that have been mulled over for decades now. This theory was built on ideas that have been mulled over for decades. Instead, its information, which is defined in physics as all of a particle's properties, is preserved on the boundary or event horizon of a black hole, and it will be absorbed by the universe at some point in the future. At the event, Stephen Hawking made the following statement. I propose that the information is stored not in the interior of the black hole, as one might expect, but on its boundary, the event horizon. The takeaway from this lecture is that black holes aren't as dark as they're made out to be in popular culture. They are not the everlasting dungeons that they were once believed to be the case. Things have the potential to escape a black hole on the outside, as well as possibly emerge in an entirely different universe. A star that succumbs to its own gravity and collapses into a black hole results in the production of a gravitational field that is so powerful that it is able to consume even light. Black holes can be found at the center of some stars. What happens to the information of an object when it is consumed is something that we do not know, and it is something that theoretical physicists have been debating for the past four decades. In quantum mechanics, it is stated that information can never be destroyed even in a situation involving a black hole. However, in general relativity, it is stated that it must be, and this discrepancy is at the heart of what is now commonly referred to as the information paradox. In the 1970s, Stephen Hawking made a name for himself by proposing that the quantum fluctuations that occur in a black hole could allow photons, particles of light, to escape. A quantum fluctuation is a temporary change in the amount of energy that is contained in a point in space. According to Jacob Aaron of New Scientist, Initially, he said that this radiation carried no information from inside the black hole. However, in 2004, he changed his mind and said it could be possible for the information to get out. 
In the middle of the 1990s, American and Dutch physicists Leonard Susskind and Gerald T. Hooft proposed a solution to the information paradox. According to their theory, when something is sucked into a black hole, the information it contains leaves behind a kind of two-dimensional holographic imprint on the event horizon. The event horizon is a sort of bubble that contains a black hole and everything must pass through it. This indicates that even though an encounter with a black hole would cause all of the object's physical components to be completely obliterated, the object's blueprint would continue to exist. According to Joseph Stromberg, who writes for The Verge, to help wrap your brain around that, think about a stack of documents going through a shredder. You can shred the paper into pieces as small as you can possibly imagine, but the information that is printed on it will not be lost and can be recovered. It is fragmented into very small pieces, but the original information has not been lost. If sufficient time is given, the documents can be pieced back together to reveal the original content that was written on them. In essence, it was believed that the same thing was true with regard to particles. What Stephen Hawking is suggesting now is that when photons are ejected by the black hole, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation, they pick up the information blueprint that is sitting on the event horizon and carry it with them back into the universe. This is what is known as Hawking radiation. Despite this, Hawking stated at the conference that there was nothing that could be accomplished with this blueprint, which is more accurately described as a two-dimensional hologram. The information that was sent about the incoming particles is returned, but in a format that is both chaotic and pointless. The information paradox is therefore solved by this. To all intents and purposes, the information is no longer available. What is unclear and what will possibly be discussed at the conference later on this week is how Hawking's theory differs from what Susskind and T. Hooft have already proposed. But perhaps what Hawking has done is resolve some of the sticking points of the theory's earlier iteration. This will be discussed at the conference later on this week. In an article for the Washington Post, Rachel Feltman writes, Nobel laureate Gerard T. Hooft, who was present for the conversation, has been thinking about information loss in a similar way, and he referenced several papers that he has published on the subject. To determine what is new about Hawking's theories in comparison to T. Hooft's, and to determine whether Hawking has overcome some of the challenges that were associated with earlier iterations of the idea, additional conversation and a significant amount of time spent comparing mathematical equations will be required. What are some key takeaways from all of this information? Well, maybe black holes aren't the bottomless pits of total and complete destruction that we like to describe them as, and Stephen Hawking says that we should take some comfort in the fact that they aren't. He advised those in attendance at the conference, if you feel as though you are in a black hole, don't give up, there is an exit strategy. So guys, we are at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel, you find really cool stuff.